Hello and welcome. We are going to do an unboxing and a walkthrough today of the Gaia Oracle. This beautiful deck called to me. It is a deck for guidance, affirmations, and transformation. It is by Tony Carmine Salerno. Hope I'm not slaying that name. So welcome to my channel and thanks for being here with me today. I appreciate your energy exchange of love and appreciation here. Bear with me as I'm recovering Currently, we are November 2021. We are actually still in the energy of Scorpio New Moon. So I hope that you are transforming. I hope you're rising from the ashes, so to speak. Overcoming battles. We're in intense times on the earth plane as earth dwellers. That is for certain. So I wanted something soft and receptive. Something um, feminine something to encourage us so i was called to this deck i received it about three weeks ago and whole other story is i came down with covid so i'm recovering from that right now as we speak so support your small businesses because one thing is for certain um during this whole crazy insanity that we are going through here on the earth plane is that corporations and big tech have been thriving while the small businesses and the personal people have been struggling. And so I received this deck from Etsy and just, I ordered two decks from this specific um, person on there. So you just type this in there on Etsy and you'll find it. Um, I don't remember the name because it's been again, three weeks. So support your small businesses guys um the everyday people like you and i have really been put through the ringer intentionally and i know it's convenient to shop am amazon but let's not go for convenience anymore because other people are suffering so enough of my rattling this gaia oracle is inspired by the planet obviously the feminine energy the receptive earth energy so far back in time from the underlying fabric of creation burst forth creating the super luminous event through which our universe was born time began its endless journey through ever expanding space the early universe was simply a sea of particles floating through space and time but life's invincible wheel were already in motion, and over time the sea of particles became a sea of stars from which Gaia, our Earth, was born. A living, breathing entity, our goddess, our mother, and our reflection. Gaia Oracle will point you in the love's direction and help you find the answers you seek. It is a 45-card deck with guidebook. And like many decks, it comes with the pull apart box. <clears throat> so we have the sacred heart of the feminine energy on the front of the guidebook. Gives you some spreads in the beginning, and it has a little lengthy description of the energy so we're going to do a walk through <coughs> pardon me and then we will draw ourselves a collective message for the current times whenever you tune in to listen it's banded mm. Call upon the Holy Spirit. I ask to always be tapped in to the benevolence of great spirit, of great love. To allow myself to be the oracle. To be inspired by the messages in this deck created. And I ask that you always bless, uplift, encourage, and even enlighten. All of, us, all of us who receive messages through this beautiful oracle, I intend on using this to encourage others and that we honor and respect the sacred space of the energy of Gaia. 
being open, receptive, and we give thanks in advance for this oracle. And so it is. So again, on the back of these, Sacred Heart, very beautiful. I love the flame. I love the rooted greens and the Sacred Heart in the center. So, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm going to get a drink of water before we start. And I do have a lozenge in my mouth. Sorry about that, guys. Again, three weeks into recovering from the bio weapon. And I'm very grateful to be here. <clears throat> so card number one, the tree of life. Fertility, creativity, destiny, and magical blessings. Hmm. Moonlight goddess, repressed emotions, healing, reflection. Again, there's a vulnerability with this deck, with the nudity, with the bareness. And that was another thing that called me in to this feminine, divine feminine, receptive type of energy. So I think that our planet and our listeners, including myself, could use a little more of that softening, right? <clears throat> Harmony, power, self-confidence, productivity. I like that there's just little keywords too. And not to mention the imagery is just phenomenal, right? The dream, something is revealed, insight, breakthrough. Gaia, wisdom, knowledge, spiritual understanding. The search, feeling lost, confused, lonely. Goddess of creation, transformation, creativity, wholeness. We are in Scorpio season currently as I'm doing this recording and it's all about going into that deep subconscious programming and transforming and transmuting it and going up and rebuilding your own foundation, right? Attachment, letting go, restriction, fear. The cards are numbered at the top as well. So if you work with numerology, that'll be another beautiful thing. The hidden gift. Sadness, an ending, and a beginning. Finding our blessings in our trials and tribulations. Jewel within, a teardrop. Wow, that's beautiful. Appreciation, spiritual and emotional connection. <clears throat> rising above clarity freedom solution i love the peace dove love the blues throat chakra is connected to the heart chakra hmm. the sacred heart passion love spiritual communion this is so significant for me because i love yeshua and the Sacred Heart always comes through to me when I'm doing meditations and Yeshua comes through. It's all about the heart. Reflection, illusion, self-examination, distortion. Purification, fire, bare essentials, the naked truth, wholeness. The temptress, seduction, deceit, a broken promise. Winter's end, regeneration, rebirth, positive outcome. Achievement, 
Keep focused on your dream. Love the lotus, symbolic of the crown chakra. Remembering that you're here for a bigger purpose, right? Apprehension. Moving into the world. Moving out into the world. Doubt, fear. The eternal dance is beautiful. Movement, wheel of life, path of least resistance. Loss, grief, sadness, and resurrection. Boy, do I know this one well. Grief has a way of breaking your heart open and transforming you. Remembrance. Resurfacing of past feelings and emotions, which could be happening right now for many of us in Scorpio season. Going into that deep subconscious where there's betrayals and wounds that need to come to the surface. If it comes up, it's meant to be looked at. Not always fun, right? Sacred journey, life cycles, family, transformation. Night wind, facing fear, subconscious release, and healing. Eternal love, happiness, harmony, fulfillment. Another dove. Liberation, breaking free from negative attachment. Boy, did I take a deep dive over the past three weeks, people. Wow. Facing a fear, right? Fear of death. What better way to have the masses of people awakening go into fear of death than what we have happening currently in 2021, right? <coughs> Pardon me. Peace. Dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts. The Enchanted Forest, Mystery, Magic, Excitement. The Message, Positive News, Positive Outcome. Thinking of You, A Loving Thought, Serendipity. You notice the colors are just really soft, but yet vibrant, very feminine, but yet fiery like masculine. So I just love, love, love the color, the texture, the imagery, the little keywords, the flame tree, the start of something new. Ganesha, clearing away obstacles, protection guidance. Wow, I'm surprised to see her in here. How cool is that? Purification water. While well, we're in Scorpio season, which is fixed water. So be open, be receptive, be um, non vindictive. Don't hold grudges because forgiveness blocks our heart. When our heart's blocked, the rest of our chakras suffer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Purification water, emotional cleansing, and rejuvenation. I baptize myself daily. I take me an Epsom salt or a Himalayan salt bath daily to purify, to pray. Right? Baptize. I baptize myself where I go into the walker, water, cleanse myself emotionally, physically. Beautiful. Healing. Reconnecting with your true nature. You know, I had a beautiful soul sister send me a beautiful prayer. A beautiful shaman soul sister of mine. And her voice is so soothing. <clears throat> and I was feeling very ill in my physical body. And she reminded me of my wholeness. And I tell you what, that was very healing. Very 
um, helpful with me reconnecting with my true nature, which is spirit, right? We are spiritual beings having a human experience. Beautiful. So thank you, beautiful soul whisperer. I listened to that prayer and affirmation from you with your soothing voice probably six, seven times after you sent it to me. And I cried and I remembered who I am. Hidden path, the marriage of spirit and matter. <clears throat> Again, let me know how you, how you, uh, I love the imagery. Love it. Lost love, surrender, healing, release. Moonlight, travel, romance, potential. Nine of hearts, fulfillment, harmony, protection. Zen Garden, Inner Sanctuary. Perception, Beyond the Veil of Illusion. That one's huge for me. Love that. Beyond the Veil of Illusion. Yin Yang, Creating Harmony Through Balance. Love that. Amethyst. Transformation, certainty, and confidence. Sacred Earth Mother, a message of love. Mm. Gaia sustains us, supports us, creates the womb to sustain us as an on an earthly mission, right? Nature, the elementals, intuitive communication, silent whispers of the heart. Trust that more than ever, people. Ocean of eternal love, healing, creativity, and fertility. Oops, there's more there. And the last card, card 45, is evolution. <laughs> Are we in that? Really? Earth changes, climate change, transformation. When there's one ending, there's another beginning. And we are collectively definitely on an evolution right now, right? Lots of changes. So we have to stay open and receptive to flow, to remembering our divinity. <clears throat> so Spirit, I just ask for us to have a message today that inspires all of us who tune in to listen presently, in the now, or in the next now. And I ask that we be encouraged and guided to soften, to nurture, and to transform any of the subconscious programming to help us to see through the illusions and that we rise above to see the bigger perspective and to remember our divinity and remember the benevolence that supports and sustains us as earth dwellers. We give thanks in advance for the messages that you bring forward we bless this deck. We appreciate it. We give thanks to Gaia for sustaining us. And each day, day, be encouraged to have a sacred respect for the planet here and the energy of Gaia. And we give thanks in advance. So, it is a matte finish, which I like for camera for sure. The deck feels nice. The cardstock feels good. We are currently in the new moon energy of Scorpio. And there's a transformation happening for sure because it is in a... <coughs> Pardon me, I tried to cover my mic. <clears throat> I'm purifying. 
<clears throat> the residual effects of this bioweapon that I actually did come down with three weeks ago, so that's a whole other story. Clearing. Having another new, fresh perspective on life. On the mission of why I'm here, why everybody else is here. So what is this message under the new moon in Scorpio energy? Again, this will be timeless as well, but this is when I'm recording it. The power to transform. The understanding that when one cycle ends, another one begins. And again, back to what I was saying before I started coughing. Excuse me on that that this new moon is in opposition to Uranus. Uranus wants change. Uranus is innovative. Uranus is the evolution. And it was also, I believe, in a T-square with Saturn, which is the restrictive, the government, the dictatorship, that top-down authority that is not for the all, right? <clears throat> so what is the message that is most needed for anybody who tunes in to listen for the collective to receive and embrace at this time it's a bigger deck i don't know what i could compare it to but it feels nice shuffling it hope that helps by me covering the mic. I know that I have earbuds in this morning to do this reveal because I just felt the need to not hear background noise. Moonlight goddess. Repressed emotions. Healing. Reflection. The energy definitely right now, especially in Scorpio season, wants us to go deep. Wants us to go into the subconscious. The things that we do out of autopilot. That we don't necessarily have in our conscious thinking every day, right? So the moonlight goddess to me... I'm feeling like she's wanting us to ha to bring forth those autopilot thoughts, those those feelings and emotions that we may not express openly to see to dive deep into those <clears throat> deep emotions so that we can heal. So this could be a time for you guys really and it definitely is for me where you've been doing a lot of reflection and shedding a lot of tears and purging not only things out of our physical body but our emotions through tears and what happens when we do that and step out of we take the red pill right step out of the programs because we're taught from one from the age of up to seven this subconscious program pre programming through family through cultural and a lot of us have been going on that for far too long. So it's wanting us to dive deep, to be the trendsetter, to highlight the feminine, receptive, nurturing energy within you so that you can heal, reflect, release, and not to repress any of your feelings and emotions. So let me read. I don't want my candle to catch that on fire. That would be a bad deal. I'm going to get a drink. Card number two. So a good healthy balance, right? It's in, in two, two of pentacles. Juggling <clears throat> our everyday life as earth dwellers, but also having a good healthy ba balance of our spiritual mission of why we're here. Card number two. The Moonlight Angel, depicted on the card, is here to reflect back to you 
the repressed emotions you have stored inside you. She is here to heal you through your dreams. But in order for this healing to take place, you must pour out your heart and express how you truly feel. <clears throat> Do this for yourself and for others. And remember that you repress not only what you repress not only affects you, it also affects those around you, especially those you love the most. It is safe to acknowledge your feelings. It is all right to cry. Just surrender and let it all go. You are surrounded by love and healing energy of, of the goddess. You are eternally loved and eternally protected. In the coming month, you will reflect in, on the past. You will give thanks and let go of old hurts and disappointments. Only the loving memories you will keep inside your heart. Then once the chambers of your heart are yet again full of light, a new season begins. A new journey a new joy and a new passion that is so perfect for Scorpio season you guys Scorpio rep represents the house 12th house of transformation endings beginnings letting go deep subconscious repressed feelings and emotions so the affirmation is I give thanks for the healing that is taking place now in my life I express all I feel Honestly and lovingly, without fear or apprehension, I am safe. I am loved. I am one with the goddess. I am one with earth and all creation. Can't say um, nothing but wow. Very significant. I hope you enjoyed this message. I hope you feel love. I hope you feel safe. I hope you dive deep into any repressed emotions. Uproot them. Transform them. Transform them. And remembering you are supported. You are loved. You are divine. And like my beautiful sister sent me in prayer when I was feeling very low. You are in the wholeness and the likeliness of creator. Remember that beautiful divinity within you. Send this to you guys with so much love. Let me know what you think about this deck. I love it already. Very emotional time. Give thanks to you for this energy exchange of love once again. Give it a like. Give me a comment. It helps my channel. And until the next time, Shalom.